Welcome to part one of a series of three videos about digital ways to support interdisciplinary cooperation. If you look at these videos, you will sometimes say, well, that also applies for analog topics and fields. And of course, you're right. So, this first video is about the first things first. If you think about digital ways of communication and tools, they will completely fail if there's no framework, no support for interdisciplinarity. If there's not really a room for that, like structure, like places to meet, like time in your education or in your job, like guidelines that tell you how to work together, that are evolved together, and many things more. Besides the things named on the slide, it's also very important to get to know each other in the way of what is your education in your fields of healthcare? What is your job profile? And to get insights into glimpses of pains and gains of daily routines. So, therefore, it's a lot about of curiosity and the attitude of yes and that's basic for working together, for telling other people what I like about your idea, your impulses, your routines and to build own ideas upon them. The second thing is you can talk a lot about digital ways of cooperation and tools. And of course, it's crucial that people have access to devices. So in many institutions in healthcare or also in education, sometimes some people share one device or don't have access to enough mobile devices. Of course, to bring your own device is one possible and good part, but it can be the only pillar. Because it's important that people who bring their own device, that they learn a lot about digital literacy, that they know about data security and things about that. What is also important is the fostering of the reflection of the personal learning environment. So how are the data organized on several devices? How are things organized like books, like articles, like books, like articles, like documentation of didactic interventions or healthcare interventions and their outcomes? Another first thing first is there are a lot of different tools and there are a lot of different platforms and there are also a lot of different habits using them. There will be also some kinds of restrictions of the institution in the area of healthcare and education. What is crucial for finding out which tool or which platform to, to use, there are this, the following things to look upon. The first thing is user experience. How easy it, it is to use tools and platforms. The second thing is accessibility. It's not only about people who have problems with their sight or with, with hearing. There is a problem for everybody. The next thing is data privacy and data sovereignty. So where are data stored? Who has access to them? How is it doc documented? And the last thing is open source to use product where a whole crowd of people is evolving these products and they are open and easy to have, but also the usage of such software will turn out into costs, into programming, into looking on the corporate identity. So it's very important to together make decisions on all the things named before and to reflect them continuously. Not only at the starting point, but 
at last two times in the year. And also to reflect the praxis of digital collaboration. What problems did evolve? What solutions came up? What are your first things first? I encourage you to reflect your ways of and your habits of using digital tools and ways of communication, especially related to interdisciplinary collaboration. Also talk to other colleagues and name your fears, your wishes, bad and good experiences. And most important, work together with others.